trying to get it. Oh, Tell me <laughs> You are going about the Americans with the fucking geckos. <laughs> Come here. What was your experience this then? I'm literally crying. That was so scary. Little gecko. It, it's not little. Look at it. Show them the size of it. It is not little. It's about the size of a 20 cent coin. I'm sitting here trying to get content and it's just decide why me? Why crawl up me? I'm a human. I'm not a fucking wall. <laughs> so another night. Good morning, vloggy vlog. We are back in Bali, Ubud. We got here, what time are you here? 12 o'clock last night. Pretty much got to the room here at like mm -hmm. fucking, oh, I think it was. We didn't get to sleep until 2.30. Yeah, it was like 2.30 a.m. Oh my head, it's sitting out of your hat. It's a bit yuck. Um. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't get to bed till like 2.30am, so it was a bit of a bit of an early, late one. <laughs> get it? Early, late. <laughs> Beck shaking her head at me right now. She didn't find it very funny. She's still um, a bit upset about the gecko. Little Barry, he's just chilling up there. Oh, I fucking zoomed terrible. Anyway, yeah, we're off to go get something to eat. We haven't eaten for a while. Beck definitely hasn't. She decided to get a meal on the plane and didn't want it. It was, it was beef. beef. It was beef, but. but what am I gonna do? I'm not eating you could eat the, You could eat the rice and the veggies. I didn't want to. So she, yeah. I'm not gonna sit and just eat rice and veggies. Beef, yeah. I, yeah. Great, I, know, I gave I know. it to you. Uh, she gave it to me. Oh, big boy here gets two <laughs> meals because he needs it. <laughs> I am grateful. Thank you. But yeah, so here we're gonna get a feed and then um, come back and do some work, aren't we? Yeah, we've got a lot, 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 lot to do, like got heaps on, so we'll sort that out. Fresh fruit brought to our room, plus the juice. This is our fruit basket we got there from last night on arrival. Tell everyone what we found. Where we found a cafe. Yeah, it's a cute little spot. Well, we didn't really find it. Our host told it's, us. Yeah, it's literally right across the road from <laughs> where we, our villa is. It's so cute, and there's this cute laundromat right next door. It looks like very organic with like organic mm. products and stuff. Everything seems to be like close, close by, and what the cafe Which is. is good. Yeah, got like a good selection too. Yeah. So the whole point, I suppose we should talk about the point of coming back to Bali. The whole point of coming back to Bali is to really anchor into like a home place like we mm. did in the Philippines because we are in the process of building my company to seven figures and for the last few months we haven't really been producing any new work, any new content. Um, we've been making money but based off of the content and the digital real estate that I already have. Um, which is cool. That's one of the perks when you run a digital business, you can build out different programs and masterclasses and sell them and sell the recordings and not have to really do anything. Um, and that's what we did like last month. In 24 hours, we had $17,000 in sales and we didn't record, I didn't record anything new. It was all previous programs and stuff that I bundled together. So um, we've got so many things that we want to create and we've obviously created the 10K program, which is launched today in um, the Philippines and I have another bigger program that I want to launch, update a few things. I also want to um, do a free masterclass. I have one running tonight that I'm running um, and then I have another one that I want to do. So we really needed just like a, a home base. We needed something we could just relax into, something big enough where we could have different workstations and that's why we got the villa that we did. But then also something where, you know, there's stuff around and we can just duck across the road to get food and then go straight back into our creative zone. So that's kind of why we came back to Bali, because Bali is great for that. You know, it's great. There's a gym close by. Obviously, there's a restaurant right across the road. We can hire a scooter if we want and scoot into the um, 
into the city, which is like what five minutes away. I think. Yeah, it's something like that. It's super close, but that's essentially why we're here. So again, this this vlog may be very much like a a working week for us. So if that's not your thing, maybe this isn't the vlog for you. This is not going to be your typical tourist Bali. This is what you should do in Bali. This is what you should eat, and these are the attractions. Like that's not us. We're here. We're showing you what it's like to travel whilst I'm running a company. You know, whilst being in confined in a relationship and all the things like where we're showing you that side so if that's very much your, your jam if you're an entrepreneur or if you have a business that you're wanting to scale to 10 figures 20k a month uh, 10 figures 10k a month 20k a month this is definitely going to be the vlog for you and i'm sure you'll be able to take some little golden pieces from this celebrating we are celebrating a successful masterclass and the launch of 10k today mm, super exciting yeah i don't think it's focused i think it's the lighting is just setting it off a little bit oh forever <laughs> taking our lip gloss <laughs> yeah, so we've come back to the same place we had came to for lunch for dinner. Oh, that's that, so good. I messed that up. Why? Come to the same place that we came to from lunch to dinner. <laughs> yeah, right, so it just didn't sound right. We are back mm. having dinner at the place we had lunch at today. The lunch we had today was unreal. The, um, I had the, the sterloin flatbread with like caramelized onions and like capsicum and all this other stuff and it was so good and I had the um, chicken tacos as well and they were, they were so good, so good. Then what did you ever get? The falafel then, yeah? Yeah, the falafel mm. from flat bread. Yeah. What did you get? I got the barramundi and wilted spinach and beetroot hummus. Now I got the bangers and mash. I think it's onion rings. We are just on the way to the gym. So I will show you, I'll go in and show you right now, there's no DM for me and them. Oh, don't yell me. You're making a ruckus, causing a scene. Always cause a scene. <laughs> no, we're just um. We're at just breakfast. We're at breakfast. Go. Just finished at the gym not too long ago. It's a good session. I had a mean session. Really good gym, innit? Mm -hmm. It's like a big, like, sort of day club, mm -hmm. I guess, isn't it? Yeah. And it's like, there's a, like a really, like, nice spa, and there's, like, all these different pools. Um, there's heaps of different things here, isn't it? The gym is huge, like it's a proper gym. Best gym we've been to yet on our whole trip, by far. But um, yeah, there's saunas, there's like, it's like a full retreat stuff too. Like, it's really cool. And we just got breakfast. So we've got the, um, what's it, potato? Mm. Dan, Dan Handen or something like that. <laughs> something like that. It's, um, it's like a big hash brown. Of, um, like eggs Ben will put the big hash brown instead of bread. And some bacon. So there's the goodies. 
Got the uh, iced vanilla latte. Yeah, so we enjoy this now. Are you we? gonna show them what I got? Yeah, I already did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do it for this one too. Um, the chaos. Yeah. The chaos. <laughs> Eggs Benny, the salmon, and I'm not sure what sauce is on the bottom of that. Ho hollandaise and a kale salad. Oh, there you go. So I got you here. What you got there? I got <laughs> a delivery from the Secret and Mara. Big Daddy sent me these. <laughs> so grateful. Thank you, Bobby. Did you have a feeling that they were coming? No. And I literally said to you that I wanted, um, that I wanted, I couldn't wait to get home so that I could have regular flowers because I really miss having regular flowers in my house. Um, so yeah, and the card says, I love you so much, my stunning wifey. We'll forever be grateful for you, Ethan. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> We're doing eye patches. Oh no. Yours are on your cheeks. Oh. You need you to, to fix them. You need <laughs> <laughs> you to fix them. Can you put us any one song? These ones are warm now. No, we're not wasting them. You got 60? We got 30. 15 minutes you got to have these on for. 15 minutes? Yes. Honestly, I don't think they're going to last 15 minutes on my face. Push it in. Did you really drop that? Huh? Imagine that push one yet. <laughs> I'll get I'll probably get a punch in the mouth. Alright, we good? We're good. We brought these little eye patches from the local laundry. <laughs> <laughs> now the laundry that's next door to us is like very bougie. It's very like what organic yeah, and natural. Like yeah, and you can buy so many different things like hand soap and body scrubs. And so we got these rose eye patches. Oh, yeah. We put them in the fridge. You gotta put them like up. Yeah, yeah. Up under the eye. Sorry. It's the first time. Just pop them in cherry. I think that's right. Yeah. Don't smile because you're going to crease Sorry. it. <laughs> I was getting excited. Yeah, okay. You're excited, but just don't smile. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to lay here with my eye patches and do some work. So is it 30 pairs? Yeah. Under my eye and off. Yep. A little trick, you guys put your face masks and your eye patches in the fridge because when you use them when they're super cold, they anti inflame the area. So if you get like really puffy under eye, buy some gel eye patches, put them in the fridge, or if you get a puffy face in the morning. Um, you could even like wake up a little bit earlier, get your face mask from the fridge, put it on, read a book, drink a coffee, get ready for your day, have a really nice slow morning and you could just make this like a weekly ritual. Once a week, just get up a few minutes earlier, half an hour earlier just to do a little bit of self care. Note to self, do not use eye patches. <laughs> these ones. All these eye patches, they're proper and like you swell me up. Yellow. Reaction. I'm dying. I'm dying. She's <laughs> oh, no. before we do a fit check. Mm. You're absolutely stunning, as always. My salads. My trusty salads. <laughs> I mean, at least they're Gucci, right? <laughs> Cinderella's Gucci slide. <laughs> what is up, vloggy vlog? Good morning, good morning. We have gotten up this morning, gotten ready, and then I had a coaching call. Yes, I am wearing an outfit. I know it looks like I'm topless, but um, I just finished off <laughs> with a coaching call, and now we are about to go for breakfast.
a sign. You get to decide in your heart of hearts what you want to happen. And when you say, I'm waiting for the thing before I make a move, you're giving your power away. Why would you ever want to give your power away? You're the most powerful being. So we just finished up having some lunch. Well, it's probably like a late lunch. because we had like a late breakfast, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I recorded my food what I had, but I had the chicken teriyaki rice and the cabinara. The chicken teriyaki rice is like really small. But um, yeah, like it's, it's very, very, very tasty. It's not like a little, like a little French sort of joint. So yeah, I forgot where it was up to. The battery just died. Um, but yeah, this little like joint's like probably like a 10 meter walk from where we're staying, and it's like really good. The coffee's really good too. It's called Kess Bon Caf. Sest. Oh, Sest. Sorry. Cs Bon Cafe. Cs Bon it, Cafe. It's French. Cs. Bon Cafe. C.S. Bon Cafe. The beautiful cafe. Oh, is that what it stands for? Mm -hmm. Oh. She knows what she's talking about over here. <laughs> yeah, but like if you're ever, ever in Ubud, I highly recommend checking it out because like, the food is amazing. What did you have? You had the chia oatmeal. Yeah. And like strawberries, bananas and stuff, and it was like a beautiful layout, which you probably would have seen before this. But um, yeah, it was like, really, really good. And, um, that's it. and I just want to interrupt. Ethan is extra promoting this cafe because he was triggered today. He loves this cafe and yeah. he's pro for this cafe. Loves the coffee. Mm. Staff are beautiful, so he's pro. It's right across from Mandela. Loves mm. it. Today he went on to what Google? Yeah, on the Google reviews, and there was like some bad reviews about it. And so it triggered he's me. He's bringing it back. He's mm. doing God's work to 100%. get the good reviews up here because he genuinely loves it. Oh look, it's like the, the reviews were so like wrong. They're like it's just like I don't get a detail with them. There's just but there's yeah. just no need for it. He feels personally mm. victimized by these reviews. Yeah, because it's it's such a beautiful joint here, and like the staff are amazing, the food are amazing, the coffee's great, and yeah, so it's just um, a bit shocking with that. So. So. The butterflies have been following me since my traumatic experience in Dubai. I kid you not, they're like everywhere I go now. And no, I don't want them as my spirit animal. Please, go, not me. They're Anyone always else? nearby. <laughs> Anyone else? Hello, what is up you guys? We are just on our way to the gym. We... It's a bit noisy, so we're walking the streets. But we got um, a week membership at Park U, the gym. So we're gonna go for a workout and then we're just gonna chill there by the pool um, all day. They've got like a few restaurants there, a juice bar, um, a salad bar, and just like heaps of really cool things. So we're gonna just have a chill day there. Um, we've done some work this morning. So woke up, did some work, got everything done that I needed to get done within an hour, which was great. Had a coffee and we're gonna, yeah, go back out, go eat, chill by the pool. Just have a nice chilled Friday. We need to cross, baby. Can I cross? Yep, quick, 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 quick. We hit by a car. I didn't realize this was the fucking spot. Gina. I filmed all of the other. I know, but for today, it's not. You filmed it the other day. You didn't film it today. Yeah, well. And the artwork's changed. Well, one thing's changed. The middle part. Huh? I'm sick of your complaining. Come on. Energy 10 today. One of this minus five you're pulling off right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fucking cool. Look at that art. There? Yeah.
time. <laughs> Good fun. I'm hungry. Hungry. It's like what lunch, nearly lunchtime. I'm eating now. Big fast. Live came from the pool. Hi. Hi vlog vlog. Just chilling. Chilling. Chilling at Park here. Yes. A little bit here. A little bit. Yes, we finished at the gym and then um, we've had like had a protein shake. Well, I basically had like four protein shakes. You know, I got the gainer. I didn't realise how much. Yeah, it was like what 1,200, yeah, 200 calorie protein shake. It was fucking yummy, but it was thick. It was filling. Then had a carbonara after that. Get the carbs in today. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now we're just chilling. Going to probably do some journaling and read some books. And just relax. So we're at the uh, day club, which is now the rain club. Just sitting here doing some little bits and pieces, podcasts. Yeah, now it's just about. What's up, vloggy vlog? What's up, everybody? We've had a very productive day. We've yes. gone to the gym, had breakfast, mm -hmm. and we have rented a scooter for the day. It's gonna be fun. I'm a little nervous. If you watched our first Bali vlog, you would know all about it. If you know, you know. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. Um, I know I'm we'll in safe right. hands. Yeah, I'm this gonna one, be like, going crazy rides motorbikes all the time and there's crazy tricks and stuff with them so i know i'll be fine not crazy tricks well, you, i'm not a freestyle you're in the, yeah well just jumping jumping crazy. motorbikes that's crazy tricks you're it's like a, airborne in the air you're in the air it's not a trick but it's just jumping a trick is like pulling like a fucking knack knack or a no hander and lander well, or I something think yeah, jumping I a bike into the air off of a dirt mound is a crazy trick so that's what I'm running with. To me, it's not. It's just jumping a bike. But anyway. Anyway, <laughs> I know I'm in safe hands. Yeah, but we um, are going to go to the shops and get some groceries because, how do mm. we say it? It's na na Napier. Na Napier. Is it Napier? On Napier Monday, like we're that. probably butchering the word, but there's Napier Day, mm. which is the day of silence here in Bali. Mm -hmm. um, it's a day about religion and about uh, Hinduism. Yeah. So literally you cannot leave your hotel or your villa you cannot make loud noises um you cannot play music loud right. it's from 6 a uh, 6 a.m mm -hmm. on monday morning till 6 a.m on tuesday and when you know it goes dark you have to go inside close the blinds turn the lights down low um so yeah everything is closed mm -hmm. you're not even allowed to go outside you're not allowed to Obviously, we have a pool, so we can use that, but you're not allowed to go on the street. You're not allowed to ride bikes. There's no um, flights coming in or out. <laughs> okay. There's no um, flights coming in or no, out. The airport is so. shut. There's just nothing. So we are, you know, preparing for this. So we're going to take the scooter, get a whole heap of things for Monday mm -hmm. because things are actually starting to close now. So it's Saturday now. Things are starting to close now and things are closing tomorrow as well so we spoke to our host and he's like i don't think anything's going to be open tomorrow as well so we're going to be prepared go mm -hmm. do that and then this afternoon we have a massage which we are very excited for hopefully we'll take bring them yeah we will we'll see we'll if we can try and get some we'll show you the, like, the, whole the room and stuff like that but yeah we're getting um i'm getting a 60 minute lymphatic massage you're getting a sports, 60 a sports, minute sports. massage and then i'm also getting a 60 minute um buckle massage if you don't know what that is just google it. it's a whole face massage to reduce like jaw tension and they go within your mouth and stretch you out 
and they pull, yeah. pull it out and stuff, don't they? Yeah, they yeah. do all this like <laughs> hardcore stuff, but um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> she did, uh... Made it the shop safe and sound. Yes. Didn't we? We did, we did. Yeah, so no, we're um, looking for tea that's gonna help me poop. <laughs> Tell the world. like next level, one of the best sports massages I've had yet. But um the Masu studio <laughs> She went she went around with Mayweather. <laughs> Legit. No, nah, she thought she was in a bloody ring um oh, fuck I'm so zoned out eh? With Mike Tyson. In the ring of Mike Tyson she come down like slipped down and like all this way down on my feet and just go on my feet. Like she, was like, and she wasn't being shy, like she was fucking beating the fuck out of me. I literally could hear her just like beating the shit out of him. And him just moaning. It was the greatest thing. It was the greatest thing. <laughs> Clearly I'm all zen down after my massage. But we found the loophole to having a good massage in, in Asia. Go to an actual day spa. Go to an actual day spa at like a hotel or something and invest. Don't get the ones that come to your hotel or your room. It's just, they're just not it. But these ones, these ones are professional. And obviously you pay a bit more, like it was what, $100 for a couple massage, but totally, totally worth it. So what did you just manifest then? So I literally, on the menu, I seen this bread that looked really yummy, but I was already ordering um, a pizza. So I was like, I'm not gonna get bread for pizza, but I literally said to Eve, and I'm like, that looks so good. Like, and then they brought it over complimentary. So we got the bread for free. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. What is up, vloggy vlog? It has been a few days since 
we've recorded anything and the reason being is ethan has got what we think is barley belly he has crazy diarrhea and has had for the last like 48 hours um and then also too it was the silence day yesterday so we didn't really want to like record or speak too loud because the walls where we're staying are super thin um and you literally have to be silent so that was a really cool experience to experience that a part of the religion and the culture um just it was just so surreal <laughs> everyone's lights were off at night there was like no cars no scooters no noise everything is like quiet you had to like whisper um yeah it was like that movie what's that movie um Oh, I forget. But anyway, it's like that movie where you have to be silent. Otherwise, the monsters get you. But there's no monsters here, obviously. But yeah, it was just a really cool, cool experience. So we made like a little humble dinner. We had omelets for dinner and we've just been making our food and stuff. So I am going to be a bit of a lone arranger this morning. I'm going to go get coffee. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the gym by myself sad face but that's okay um and then we've got an, a colonic booked in for me we had one booked in for ethan but obviously he doesn't need one at this point so i'm gonna get a colonic colonic today which i'm so excited for um there's so many health benefits but i've been wanting to do this for like a really really long time i think two years but i've always been too scared so we found a place here that does um, good ones has really good reviews so we're going to do that and then after that we're going to Merlin's we're going back to Merlin's for dinner which is just such a cool and magical experience You're pale. Fuck, I'm a bit pale. You are so pale. You're not, you're not <laughs> doing too good, are you, Bobby? <laughs> Been a bit rough the past couple days. I'd say that for a second. Yeah. Uh, and today's been no different. We were going to go to Merlin's for dinner, but mm. you're just not well. You're just not well. So no. we no. will postpone it for another day. We've had a pretty chill day. Obviously, you guys seen I went to the gym this morning. I didn't actually show the gym because it's a little bit awkward trying to record um, while you're trying to work out in a busy gym. It's just not it. So I went to the gym and then um, after that we went and I got a colonic. Yeah, I wasn't getting that done. Yeah, he's already done a natural colonic on himself. There's nothing to... <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to come out of your intestines because mm. you've just gotten it all out yourself. Good job. You saved money. <laughs> um, yeah, I have I literally shit the bed. I literally shit the bed. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was expecting a different experience, you guys. Like, I've, I've, I've wanted to do a colonic for two years. Like, literally. Yeah, for a long time. I wanted to do a colonic for a really long time. And so, you know... Bali's very like holistic so yeah went in today <laughs> went in she put the tube up my woohoo did she do it or did you she do did it, it. Oh, oh true yeah, yeah right. so you have to roll on your side and you have to lift up your leg and then she you know I to ask you that. oils you up in it goes I don't want us to get banned but, well, I don't um, know where it's going, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, and then it's just crazy. Like, the water fills your stomach up. And the thing is, I have been really constipated these last few days. So, like, you know, it's it was great because it cleared me out, clearly, because I shut the bed. But... <laughs> but like really? it, it was it was hard like it was it was painful so what happens is you get the water in it fills you up um minimum you know one minute maximum kind of four minutes and 
um, essentially you tell them when to stop the water because it cramps. So it cramps up your, you right doll? I'm oh, keeping you yeah. up. Fucking right <laughs> It cramps up your stomach because obviously water's going up. So it was like cramping up my stomach. Um, and so she stopped it probably, I reckon maybe about two minutes in and then the machine drains it. And as it drains it, she's massaging my tummy. So it's draining kind of nothing's come out the first time the water's still clear. Cause you can see it goes through this tube that you can see what's going out and it was clear. Anyway, on the third time stuff was really coming out and it's that feeling that it's that feeling that you get when you, when you have diarrhea. You know when you just you need a toilet and you need to run to a toilet and you're getting goose, like you're getting the full body like shiver goosebump and you're like oh if I don't get on this toilet like it's <laughs> and it starts burning you know that feeling it starts burning yeah so that was happening and then obviously because I've been so constipated the tube got clogged up a little bit as it was coming out and because it got clogged up the water is still trying to pressure out and then the water was spraying out the dirty. <laughs> The black water was spraying out of the tube all over my frontal region. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, oh my God, I'm, it's leaking. It's leaking. It's going over. It's going over. And she's like, it's fine. It's fine. Like it happens. It happens. And then she like lifted up. I had a strong one. She lifted up. She was like, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> and she got like this other like pad, put it underneath me. Um, but yeah, afterwards I had to fully use the water pressure to just clean myself off. Felt like I was a newborn wearing a nappy again, to be honest. But anyway, so that was that experience. And the scooter ride home was fun because I was trying not to, you know, shit myself. <laughs> the poor voice. I was clenching, <laughs> clenching the whole way. Uh. Um, so, yeah. And then afterwards, like, it was... So they do that four rounds, like they fill you up and then suck it out, fill you up, suck it out, four rounds. By the end of it, I was just, I was feeling mm. s like squeamish. I was feeling ill and the cramping was a lot. Um, and so I was just like, I'm, I'm so done. Like I, I get why she said, cause she did say, she was like, if you choose to stop halfway through, you still have to pay. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Like I get that now. I understand why people stop halfway through. I actually get that because there was a point where I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do four because this is a lot. So, but anyway, on the fourth one, she stopped it. But I think she stopped the drainage of the water prematurely mm. because I literally sat on the toilet and there was that much water that was coming out of me. It was just insane. So that was that. So we come back and we got some food and I've just been in bed doing self-development and yeah. So that is the tea. So that's what's up and now we're about to go get some dinner mm -hmm. we'll bring you guys along we're going to Malali's for dinner it's just literally like two doors up such a great restaurant like if you're in Ubud 100% recommend coming the staff is so beautiful and the food is like mm -hmm. always fresh we've been there I reckon maybe like 10 times we'll see in the um, early stages yeah well we've been mm. there so many times <laughs> and the food has never ever disappointed never. every dish and we've had pretty much the whole menu at this point mm -hmm. But yeah. What is up you guys? Welcome back to the podcast. Today's episode, we are talking about signs that you are self-sabotaging your success. Hello, beautiful people. 
we are going to bring this vlog to a close as you've seen i've been doing some recording did the podcast i also went live on my instagram so if you're not following me definitely follow me over there um because i have so much free value on that platform today has been super good I don't know. It's been chill. I went and got a buckle a facial massage for the first time. <laughs> it was good. A little bit painful, but it was good. It's where they literally go. Honestly, you should probably Google it, but they go inside your mouth to just work out the tension on your face, on your jaw, on your lips, on your neck. It was really good. Really, really good. Um, so did that, went to the gym, got my massage then Ethan met me and we had lunch and then we've been back here doing all of the things for business what is required the things that we love and now we are packing our suitcase because tomorrow well Ethan's packing this suitcase. hey I've been doing my thing been working been working um he's packing my suitcase as a good healthy masculine man does because he looks after his wifey um tomorrow we fly back home we go back to australia so we obviously planned on this trip being a lot longer we planned on it being six to twelve months and we've been away for two months but honestly we are missing our daughter zizi like crazy she's so unfazed <laughs> like when we facetime her she is just like unfazed at all she'll say to us she'll be like oh, i'll call you back later i'll call you back tomorrow and then she never calls us back and she doesn't call us the next day clearly i've raised a very independent child which is great that's that is fantastic i've the you know i was a single mom to z for many many years and i raised her in a way that if anything was ever to happen to me she would be fine in life that's that was my goal for raising her i was like i'm gonna raise this child that if anything ever happens to me she's gonna be fine and i did that i you know this is proof over the last eight weeks that i did that and i ticked that off and i'm very proud of my parenting and what i've been able to accomplish so far obviously she's seven and we still have many many years to go um but we just miss her like crazy we really really miss her a lot um and so it's made me appreciate motherhood a whole lot too which is really nice and we are also in a season of really wanting to grow our wealth really wanting to grow the business I want to grow the podcast so much more. I want to have guests on and I feel like I just need like a st like a stability piece. That's what's missing from my life right now. I need something with stability and so a home base is going to be really important for growing the business to seven figures, for growing the podcast, for getting guests on. There's a lot more self-development work I want to do. There's some certifications I want to get that's going to help people um, more in my area of expertise. So there's just so many things that we want to do. And we have loved, loved traveling. Like I have loved it so much. I'm really proud of myself because beforehand, before going on this world trip, it's ended up being Southeast Asia. So before going on this Southeast Asia trip, um, I couldn't be more than two weeks away from home because I would get homesick like and I'm such like a usually I'm a person of structure and routine like I need to know where we're going what time it is what we're doing like so having this you know freedom piece where it's like we we wake up without an alarm we wake up with the birds chirping and we decide are we gonna work out today are we not gonna work out are we gonna swim in the pool where do we want to eat like it's been amazing and it's been exactly what my soul needed and i'm very grateful that i honored that because i know that i've gotten that piece now and now i can go home and create something beautiful from these last few weeks um which is exciting so this is not going to be the end of the vlogs though so there's still going to be more vlogs i'm going to be doing week in the life day in the life keeping you guys updated um the vlogs may not be as regular but just make sure you subscribe because you'll get updates as to when i release a vlog but very much we'll be doing like an apartment tour because we have to get a new apartment we'll be doing a car tour because we have to buy a new car so all these new exciting chapters that are going to be happening and coming up we will put it on youtube so youtube will get all of the tea inside and out but we love you guys and we appreciate you and we appreciate every new follow every subscribe every thumbs up like it just means the absolute world all the comments 
yeah, we love having you guys here and we've loved documenting this journey with you and we're very excited to document the next journey with you. Bye guys.